Hey everybody, it's Julie Marie, and this is another What Jerry and I Eat in a Day video. And tonight we're having a lot of tests and some leftovers. We're starting off with leftover chickenless noodle soup that I brought back to life by adding a little fresh parsley to the top. And in our bowls, I have spinach. So I put the spinach in the bowls right before I warm the soup so that it wouldn't make my soup cold. Cause you know, I love hot soup. So this one's gonna be Jerry's because mine, I'm actually gonna heat back up one more time before I sit down to eat. Because you know, oh my gosh, there's nothing like a hot bowl of soup on a cold evening. And we'll start over here. I have some steamed broccoli in my Instant Pot, set to zero, quick release. You know how that goes. And I topped it with the Asian vinaigrette. Just a little shake. And then here I'm working on a test for a dressing that my mom used to make all the time. So I named it mom's favorite salad sauce. And this is a kid's pick because this was a favorite of mine and I'm testing it out on some children in the neighborhood. But really what the salad dressing is mimicking is seven layer salad dressing. If you remember the seven layer salad, Back from the 70s, my Auntie Cindy, she used to make it for every party. This is the dressing. That is exactly the same taste as my mom's favorite quick mix salad dressing. So I tossed it up on some really basic veggies that I had in my fridge. So there's our salad. I have some iced English black tea with a little bit of lemon juice on it. That's what I'm drinking. And you know Jerry. He's straight up water. <laughs> and then here we have our bread maker whole wheat loaf. And I am putting out a remake of that recipe because Jerry and I have made it so much better than the original recipe. And it'll have grain mill um, instructions as well to grind your own wheat berries and which ones are best, which ones to use, which ones to try, along with conventional whole wheat flour. And then we have our Healthy Valley Ranch back here because I might want to dip my bread in there. But on top of my bread, I'm putting this new sprout salad that I created because we're going to have a sprouting class in a couple weeks. And I'm testing out some unusual new sprouts. So I want to make sure I have them perfectly directed for you. I want you to have perfect sprouts and I don't want to misdirect you at all with the new sprouts that I'm trying this week. And then what else do we have? We have a sweet potato for Jerry and he's probably going to top it with some hot a sauce. Sweet potato for your sweet potato. A sweet potato for my sweet potato. He's probably going to top it with some probiotic pepper sauce. And then here I have this for Donna Villa. This is a new fermented hot sauce that she requested. I'm giving it a try. She wanted mangoes in her habanero hot sauce for a friend that was asking for it. And then here's our dessert. We'll split a kiwi, each have a couple of clementines. I also have grapefruits and regular oranges. I don't think we'll get into those. I think this is enough going on because I have one more thing in the oven that I want to show you. Here is the final thing I wanted to show you tonight that we're testing in the Protective Diet Test Kitchen. And this is sheet pan hash browns. Super easy, super speedy, super delicious. And it cuts like Chicago style square cut pizza. And you can top it however you want. Tonight, I am topping it with probiotic pepper sauce. Yes, I sure am, of course. And my Healthy Valley Ranch to cool it off a little. I spice it up, then I cool it off. Oh my gosh, how good does that look? Thankfully, I have a lot to go around. Yeah, that's right. The other option to put on top of these sheet pan hash browns would be some of this sprout salad. I think I might put some of that on there too. And we've got, right. we've got lots of starch here and here to go along with lots of veg here and here. And this is starch and veg. Very little starch in that 
chickenless noodle soup. Lots of veg and lots of super protective veg. And our ferments, and there's some ferments in there too, of course. And our angiogenesis inhibitors, of course. Oh my gosh. I have to sit down before I sit down to this meal and thank God for all of the protection that I can identify and really, really focus on while I'm eating my dinner. Our minds are powerful. Take care, everyone. The best of health.